The best part I think about um, the urban environment is the wonderful uh, opportunities to interact with people, the recreational facilities, the educational uh, universities are often in cities so it almost always gives you a chance to speak with um, academia, sports is also often concentrated in cities. So cities are a wonderful place to live and enjoy uh, modern life. Now, we expect that by 2025, 600 cities will earn about 65% of the global GDP, which is going to make them a major actor in the econ economy of the world. And you also expect that the consumption in developing countries will extremely rise in the future. The middle class is also concentrated in cities and they have very conspicuous consumption processes. What you also find is that um, in this process, cities are like parasites, if you like, because they absorb so many resources from all over the world that, in fact, they, they sort of become the center of gravity for all these resources. And that is going to be a problem in the long term. The main challenge for us is to find a way in which we can optimize the social contact, the recreational contact, the work environment. Uh, but try and do it within a sense of uh, responsibility about our footprint on the earth. But you could also have polycentric governance, and that is a little bit from where the story of city networks comes from. And sure, cities can learn from each other. There are always best practices that you can emulate, but there's a limit. It can't solve by itself the sharing eco-space storyline. We do need some kind of rule of law at the global level. We do need a constitution at the global level within which the markets can function, within which states can um, exercise some degree of sovereignty and within which polycentric actors can function. Uh, I, I, I in, invoke a narrative that cities can help solve the problem, but you're actually very skeptical. I am very skeptical because I think uh, um, cities have no power to collect the kind of taxes that are possible to be collected because the very rich in cities in poor countries as well as in rich countries avoid paying taxes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cities have no powers to actually make rules on multinationals, multinational behavior. They can say where you can build a windmill, so they have spatial planning powers. But there's a very limited uh, role in terms of the municipality's authority with respect to uh, cities. And cities uh, just drain everybody's resources. I think what I can imagine is that if we uh, don't change our governance styles very much, the urban will continuously claim rights to use resources, to use the eco-space, to pollute the atmosphere without taking on corresponding responsibilities. So we need a new sort of system within which the urban uh, governance process is embedded within larger governance processes, whether horizontal like network or uh, vertical or diagonal, within which it is possible to imagine a responsible urban that takes uh, care of its own footprint and is at the same time a wonderful, vibrant, beautiful place for people to live.